Okay, I gotta get in here. Let me go pee first. <laughs> That's not a sound bite. Been a, few, been a few weeks. What was the last thing we were doing to this? We were uh, cleaning it out and sanding it. Remember the last time we had this barrel here, it did rust. I told you in the video to spray it down with something to keep it from rusting. We pulled it right inside the building and it got a little rust on it, but I'm not worried about it because I'm going to sand it again. But we drilled the side hole there so we could shove our shot back in there and blow the air into it and make our, our barrel burn real hot get all the paint and everything off of it. Um, since that video, just a little tidbit here, since that video, everybody keeps replying. They say, why don't you just use a weed burner and blow it down in there and burn the liner off? I'll tell you why we don't do that. So when you take that weed burner and you aim it down in here, it's 500,000 BTUs of high pressure propane, right? It's coming right out of the bottle. And so with all of that gas going in there, the only way you're gonna get a flame that hot is if there's enough oxygen running to keep that fire burning at that, at that heat. So what you'll notice when you aim your burner down in there, it'll kind of go out. As you aim it down in the, in the barrel, it'll choke itself out and it won't burn and you'll have to pull back and stuff like that. You're just filling that burner, that whole barrel up with a whole bunch of burnt propane and it's displacing the oxygen and you ain't going to get a full 500,000 BTU flame. Therefore, it actually just kind of bakes that liner on worse. You can use it on the outside and burn the paint off just fine because you've got you've got all this oxygen around it and all the place for all that gas to go that you just burned, but you're not going to get a good burn aiming down inside the barrel. Here comes Tom. Check this out. He's running the Suzuki here. But look what he's pulling with it. <laughs> he's pulling that big old trailer. So what are you gonna do now? <laughs> That's hilarious, isn't it? I didn't. Need, I'd ever. I. I would have never thought. I didn't either. I was scared when I was cranking the jack down. What are we waiting on, Tom? Yeah, Tom's gonna. He thought I went up there and was busy. And so production needs to get their crates. What are you doing? <laughs> Just chilling, supervising. Hey, so we're back. Uh, we've got the inside of our barrel cleaned out. There's some rust in there that don't bug me at all. Um, but we're gonna look at this liner on this lid and how to get rid of that liner and this gasket right here. Usually what we do, this lid's pretty thin. It's, it's probably, like 28 gauge or something it's really we don't want to burn this off if you if you was to like set this a lot of guys i see them do this they'll build their fire get it going and set the lid like that and they'll try or set it up on a stick to kind of wedge it maybe um <clears throat> but that's kind of a bad idea because this lid will do what we call the taco effect it'll turn into a taco like this and you'll be you'll you'll play tricks trying to get it back to you know flat so we actually use a grinder um, or some kind of a sanding disc or whatever to, to get this lid right. But I'm gonna heat this up a little bit and I'm gonna melt the glue and pull this out. So I gotta go get a heat gun. So stay tuned and like come back and watch because it's important to me that you learn what I'm talking about here. Ready? I'm gonna follow you. I wanna see You're gonna follow heat. me? Yeah, I wanna see the heat gun. So you could use a flap disc like this if you wanted, right? But I got this cool little thing here I wanna try out. So Radner makes this. There's a lot of other people that make it too. And I've got a different kind, it's called surface preparation disc. And this thing here has been used on propane tanks. So we might not have a whole lot of life in it, but we'll try it. See how handy that was? For all my grinders, I got that, that 3B thing taped on there real good and handy. It's got grounds. A little heat gun. Don't need a lot of heat. We just need to melt the glue, you know. Safety glasses. Yep, always. Now, get my gloves on. They got wet. 
Okay, now we're plugged in here. Get our heat gun plugged in. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot my pliers. Hang on, we gotta have some pliers. Cause I gotta grab it. Let's see the pinch. Oh, we may just be able to pull that off. Sometimes you gotta heat them up. So just set it on like low. You don't need a whole lot of heat. You can do high if you're in a hurry, I guess. But And then all I do is I just heat, heat along there like that. And once I get a little bit of heat going, that'll melt that glue. And you just kind of see how easy it just pops off. It was pulling off easy before, but now it's like serious. Sometimes these, this is more of a rubbery gasket, but sometimes they're, if you if you pull too hard without it being hot enough, see that little black right there? We'll get that little bit of gasket that stays in. And then I keep the pliers because sometimes you can't get in there. You know, and that'll help you get started. There you go, you don't need that no more. So if your lid gets tacoed in the process of building your barrel, or you got one that's like a, a leaker, uh, you go to smokerbuildermfg.com and we have a Nomex gasket on there that's a self-stick that you can stick back in the hole. It's a um, half inch wide and an eighth inch thick. And uh, like if you got this little foamy stuff in here, like if you had that all the way around, you just take a screwdriver or something, get in there and you can kind of peel it off. Now for the amazing and fun and awesome part. We're gonna see what this little disc here will do. I got another one over there we can grab if we need it, but we'll try it. Hey, so real quick, I wanna show you, see how this wheel's starting to come up? Like that, so you'll start to see it's leaving like a smeary thing on there. Let me show you an ancient barbecue trick here. Good builder trick is just grab a piece of angle or something. Kind of just bump it a little bit and you'll knock some of it off of there this is an older wheel so it's still staying clogged up but it'll kind of help clean it off a little bit you know and you can go back at it pretty good I'm happy with that um, so let's just look at it so we went up inside you probably saw inside there a little bit and you're not gonna get it perfect but we got it really clean and uh, that's that's probably good enough if you really want you like I say you can get some half inch by eighth inch uh, the lava lock gasket from our website and just stick it inside the thing all the way around there that Nomex you know then you have a gasket on your lid and that lid fits a lot better without that rubber gasket in there now. So now you're at the point where you could, if you want, you could try to remove all of this paint with that same disc. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I don't think it's necessary. But like if you were gonna do a automotive paint job and you wanted to really get this thing down to bare metal, you would just take that same disc and do exactly the same thing in here. Um, for our purposes on a paint job, we're gonna show you just a basic, really simple, good old fashioned ugly drum style paint job. You could even just leave it like this if you wanted, but show some character. But um, for the paint job we're gonna do, we're just gonna wet sand this and uh, it's gonna be sprayed black anyway. And so we just need something for the paint to stick to. So now we're at the point, since I'm not doing all the clean off, we're gonna go ahead and lay this lid out. I gotta go grab a couple more tools. I'll be ready. 